Hi friends, I'm Olga Kirsch and welcome back to my studio. Today it's already one year since I started my YouTube channel and I'm so thankful for all of you for being so supportive, for your awesome comments, for your awesome feedback, for getting here and building this community. Thank you so much. And I prepared something special for you today. And this is black watercolor paper. And this sounds pretty, pretty awesome and pretty crazy. I will show you. It's really black watercolor paper. And you think how to paint with watercolor on black paper. And I will show you in a moment. Let's start. I will use this watercolor paper. I believe they are pretty much the same with all brands. I just cut a half just because I like to paint on this size. That's the most convenient for me. Uh, I took gouache from tube. Um, I would recommend you to use gouache on tube because the consistency is much softer and it's easier to dilute. I prepared a puddle with rather diluted gouache and I leave this bold mix like it is now. First of all, let's find our central, our hero flower. I suggest it will be rose in about one third of the of, <laughs> of our paper. Um, when you dilute your gouache, it will work pretty similar to watercolor. So just don't be stressed that you took another medium. Just think about your painting with watercolor. And we start painting rows with small sea strokes. You see the diluted, um, the diluted gouache uh, gets uh, transparent. So it's, one it's once it's dry, it gets a little bit grayish. And that's all right, because with gouache, we could easily add more and more layers if we need. So the trick is <laughs> with painting on uh, black watercolor paper that we do not paint the darkest parts. And with roses, it's what uh, inside, it's the shades between the petals. But other than that, we use the same principles, sea strokes, small pressure, more pressure, release the pressure. Small pressure, more pressure, release the pressure. Of course, it's nice to add some variety. With the tip of the brush, I create this nice wavy, wavy um, petals and as you, as you know, I like to paint simultaneously with two brushes and I use one brush to soften the edges for these rows. Um, with black watercolor paper um, and with painting with white gouache, we would not have that big amount of shades of the color, right? So, um, our goal is to create nice, intricate, intriguing, intricate uh, image of the flower. And to get this, I use very different strokes. I uh, Sometimes I hold my brush vertically, like this, vertically, to create just straight strokes. Sometimes I use, I, I paint with the body of the brush. And here and there, uh, with the second brush, I soften the edges. I add some flow <coughs> very randomly, very randomly. I want our bouquet be very, um, very airy, very loose without, um, <laughs> you know, um, when people look at some pictures and say, oh, it looks so simple, I could paint this, my kid could paint this. <laughs> Have you heard that about loose painting? I, I, I've heard that a lot. Oh, 
it's same as my five year old daughter painting and, and you think what mm, maybe not really <laughs> so let's keep this rose to dry and switch to another rose i i will place it here and it will look a little bit to the side so i first create the middle i create the middle you see it's same, absolutely same principle uh, for painting roses in black watercolor paper. And it's really fun. It's um, maybe it's a little bit difficult to see on the video, but the texture of the paper is very pleasant. It feels different, but somehow it's, it's very soft. It's very soothing painting. I would totally recommend you to give it a try. Um, and uh, I know it's kind of more experiment. Maybe you think, oh, I do not want to, <laughs> to buy a big piece of paper. Um, I'm pretty sure they sell it in the smaller sizes. So definitely worth it. <laughs> Uh, as these rows look a little bit aside, I make the top, top petals shorter and I paint this area a little bit uh, uh, slightly longer strokes and I add some vertical lines and I would like to add a little bit more of pressure to these outside petals um, to create nice intriguing variety and you could see how gouache uh, I always want to say watercolor but in this case it's our diluted gouache it also it spreads it uh, creates some shades some differences it's um, it feels like painting watercolor with its um, a little bit un unpredictable behavior so um, it's it's very, very nice experience. And um, I would like to add, let's make one more leaf. I would like to add a little bit of color to our roses just to show how it will work. You could paint the whole picture just with white gouache, but of course it's nice to know the options. So I use quinacridone rose. My watercolor quinacridone rose, very standard. I mix it a little bit with gouache. And I would like to emphasize the centers of the flower. So I just paint over white spaces with pink gouache. Oh yes, now, now it's pink. I actually am not sure if I like it. Let me soften a little bit everything. Yes, I think I like it more than it slightly softer when it sounds a little bit softer and when it just a small touch. So I will leave it like this. I do not want to over overdo it. But it adds a little bit of depth and um, nice, um, nice thinning around. Let's paint a few more flowers. I would like to add um, daisies or cosmos flowers to this bouquet. So I paint dot, dots and with quick brush move, I paint petals. Of daisy. So I start from the middle and I um, quickly lift up my brush and that creates these uh, sharp sharp uh, edges. Let's paint one more around here. 
maybe um let's create the middle just dots and then it's slightly diluted um gouache is slightly diluted maybe i will add just a hint of pink make it very very milky pink mix and let's paint a few more um um, a few more, few more, few more petals, petals, petals are coming. Perfect. I would like to add, um, I would like to add some pink color to the middle, like this. Wonderful. Um, now let's create the bottom part of our bouquet, and the more we go outside of our hero elements the more loose the more um easy the more simple be uh, should become your elements so if we painted roses step by step petal by petal now the rest of bouquet let's paint something very loose and that uh, applies to all bouquet paintings not uh, nothing special about or related to black watercolor paper principles principles are the same principles are principles so a little bit of area maybe it will be hydrangea um, in this area and of course i would like to add let's first balance a little bit with pink color and more of this cosmos flower i use this um, one third of the tip of the brush and then i just paint with very sharp brave brave move and now let's paint some eucalyptus. I like, oops, I like eucalyptus in bouquets. I like to paint eucalyptus. So, um, so we are painting a lot in all my tutorials, especially about bouquets. We paint a lot of eucalyptus. How to paint leaves? <laughs> now we have a little bit pinkish eucalyptus, but that's fine. So how to paint leaves? <laughs> See, it's very difficult now to get rid of the pink color. Um, let's make another puddle, maybe. I will add a little bit of greenish in here. Let's see. Um, you start with the tip of the brush. Then you apply pressure really a lot. And then you release the pressure. That's your leaf. That's the leaf. And with gouache, once you vary um, the amount of water, it gets more transparent. For example, I will try super transparent now. Uh, tip of the brush, I hope you could see it. Let me check. Yes. Um, tip of the brush, a lot of pressure to the brush. And then you release the pressure. Very magical. I, I so much enjoy the process when painting on black watercolor paper. It's something really, really magical about these, all these shades, all these uh, dark colors. Like this. And um, we paint step by step. This is a little bit um, a weird edge for eucalyptus leaves, so I correct it. Uh, and once you vary amount of water for your gouache, it will create this uh, variety in the leaves. And you could wiggle your brush a little bit and then you will get these curvy, curvy leaves around. I would like to hide a few leaves underneath this group. Um, for me, it feels that this leaf a little bit too 
bright. So I wash my brush, I dry it with paper towel and I do it again and I remove a little bit of uh, white color and with the same brush because I already have something on my brush I paint the middle line for, for a few leaves like this. Um, now uh, let's paint a few more eucalyptus to make uh, leaves a little bit rounder I uh, when I paint with the body of the brush, I just shape in these round eucalyptus leaves, and that's all. Let's do that again. So I um, just shape in with my brush this roundish, roundish, how they call it, do dollar eucalyptus. So I'm painting these dollar looking leaves. Um, Let's paint, um, I would suggest, let's paint something nice on this side. And I would like to add something very delicate, very, very soft, very delicate. Um, these fillings, I paint just with the tip of the brush. Some, some little details. I wash my brush. I uh, dilute a little bit my watercolor, so the next one will be uh, more um, in the shade. The next branch will be more in the shade, and it feels like one more will fit here. Um, I do not have a plan in my head. I. Um, just know that I would like to include roses, and I'm usually I'm, I start with roses, and then uh, I see what could be nice all together. Also, it it really helps if you like to watch somebody's um, florist's account on Instagram, for example, to get the inspiration to understand what florists put into into their bouquets because they are awesome. They really, they, it's such a balanced things. Um, I would say our bouquet is almost ready. Maybe it's nice to add small details, small little grass around. And of course, um, on the top, it would be nice to add one more eucalyptus can't be too much of an eucalyptus in a bouquet, isn't it? And here. <laughs> now comes the 11th of the most important tips. Uh, you know, I recently shared my 10 tips um, of painting watercolor and there should be one more <laughs> included. Stop at the right time, it, and I have difficulties with that. I sometimes I want to add more and more and more and more, and I miss the point where it would <laughs> would be nicer to stop. But it comes with experience. What nice with uh, painting white on dark color. You could add a lot of small little dots small little details and they will, because of the contrast they will look so awesome so um special on black paper so black paper really appreciates small little tiny details um i know that many artists like to paint with metallic colors and I think that it's awesome it, it's uh, perfect for painting on black paper I would not paint a lot I will just show you a few details I um, like to use metallic colors as just some cute nice details let's paint a small little brush here 
And if you do not have metallic colors, you could paint just with gouache. Uh, you see, that's all what you need to paint a bouquet. That's what you need to paint on black paper. And uh, all the rest is, I would say, it's just for playing around. I will take maybe, let's add something green. Um, it's difficult to see something with green metallics. Let's add some green metallics. Very, I, um, as I said, I think metallic color really catches your view. So you should really use them very, very moderate. Just for small little details around. And this is it. Thank you so much for painting this bouquet with me. I hope you enjoy the process. I'm looking forward for your feedback and comments. How do you like to paint on this black paper? And maybe answer me, would you like to paint more with metallic color or try out some new media? I'm looking forward for your feedback. Subscribe my channel and see you next time. Bye bye.